what's up? Well, this video is about uh, some weird things about France. That's right, France. Well, this first thing is a little weird. Did you know that half the world's roundabouts, that's traffic roundabouts, are actually in France? Half the world's traffic roundabouts are to be found in France, which, with more than 30,000 roundabouts, has more than uh, Great Britain, where they originally were invented. And also kind of weird is a French town without speed bumps is very hard to find. They like their speed bumps in France. And the entire city of Paris only has one stop sign. Weird! Now also, in France, if you want, you can marry a dead person. Hooray! Don't you want to marry a dead person? Well, if you're in France, you can. Under French law, in exceptional cases, you can marry posthumously. As long as you can also prove that the deceased had the intention of marrying while alive and you receive permission from the French president. Now, this posthumous marriage originated in the 1950s when the fiancé of a man killed after a dam burst in the town of Fréjus applied to then-president Charles de Gaulle to carry through the couple's marriage plans and was granted permission for this. Since then, applications have been made and succeeded at various times. The most recent was approved in 2017. So, yeah, that's weird, eh? Marrying dead people. Now, this other point, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, a French woman is the world's oldest ever human. She lived to an incredible age of 122 years and 167, or 64, sorry, 122 years and 164 days. Now, this was Jean-Louis Calment. She was born on the 21st of February, 1875, and she passed on August 4th, 1997. Now, check this out. She lived through the opening of the Eiffel Tower in 1889, two world wars, and saw the invention of the television, the modern automobile, and aeroplanes. So she saw a lot. In fact, the French generally live longer than most other nationalities. France is rated sixth in the world for life expectancy at birth at 82 years, 85 years for women, 79 for men. So yeah, vive la France! Uh, what else we got? In France, they sell it April Fool's Day a little bit differently. Now there, you might get a fish stuck on your back. If you're in France on April 1st, don't be surprised if children try to stick paper fish to your back and call you a poisson d'avril, which means April fish. This tradition is supposed to have started in the 16th century when King Charles XIV of France changed the calendar and those who continued to celebrate the end of the new year at the end of March were ridiculed as fools. What's up with that King Charles? What was he up to? That silly goose. And here's one that's really weird. You might think that the most visited place in Paris, like the most visited tourist attraction, is the Eiffel Tower or maybe the Louvre. The Eiffel Tower gets 5.5 million people visiting. And the Louvre gets 5 million annually. But Disneyland Paris gets 13 million people. They love their Disneyland over there. I'm not sure why, but hey, more power to them. Now, this last one freaked me out. Are you ready for this one? Are you ready? Are you ready to hear this mind-blowing information? 
Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. French toast isn't actually French. Oh my god! Ah! That's right. It was allegedly created in its modern form by Joseph French. And this guy wasn't French at all. He was an innkeeper from New York. So, yeah. French toast is not from France. I wonder if they like French toast even over there. Anyway, there's some weird stuff about France. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, if you did, then feel free to like and subscribe. All right, see you next time. Bye! Bye-bye.